Parker P2060. Let's see if we can identify based on what we got in front of us without looking at the model code. I know, I, I cheated. I looked at the model code already. We can do this anyways. Right off the bat, we got a torque control. If you see this knob in there, then this has an added torque control onto the unit. The torque control just makes sure that it doesn't stall the electric motor by taking too much pressure and flow together. Keyed shaft still has this wrapping on there. This is the control. The P2060s have a different control than all the other ones. It's a little smaller one you, made for the smaller flow of this unit. Through drive capable, but it doesn't have an adapter on there. It might, there might be a coupler in there. Here's the pressure. The pressure is always on the top. It's only the P3 units that have the pressure on the bottom with the suction. But there is no P3 for the uh, 60 size. There's only a P2. And that just means that it doesn't have the higher RPM capabilities of a P3. But this already has very high RPM. So this one does not have a coupling in there. It's just blanked, so it's capable of handling a coupling. And how did you know that by looking at the tag? It says S1A1P at the end. S1 means no through drive. Technically, this is a T1, but Lifco will commonly give people a through drive unit, but just say that it's not through drive. But you could if you want to. It's a feature, really. Now, why does it say in on here when there's no suction? Good question. I don't know. The inlet is over on this side here. Do you think they use the same body and then just don't make the hole for the... Well, they must have at some point, they must have had a cast in here or, or they were going to put the inlet over here like, like the P3. So the P3 has the inlet right at the bottom here. But the P2 always has it in the back end cover. You can tell the rotation by the arrow. So this is a clockwise rotation. Remember, it's always from looking towards the shaft side, not the back here. This is the max volume stop. And sometimes the seal nut, if they're adjusting a lot, that seal nut wears out and needs to be replaced. The P2060. We could tell that this has a load sense because it has a port here, a signal port. But it could be a remote. That's the RA comp, but it's not very common. The most common is a load sense. And this being a TE control, then that means that that's a torque with load sense. I'll have to look that up after in the literature. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, you, the difference between a remote and a load sense is the remote flow would be coming out of here and you block that to signal the pump. Load sense, the flow and pressure is going into it. So if you were to just take it over, undo this, uh, there'd be a line going on there and just run it and is it, does it squirt out or does it come out the hose and that'll tell you what type of control it is.